It is a sunny morning in the woods at Trefoil. There is a gap in the trees which the sun is shining through, and suddenly a heron is flying through that gap in the trees. It's a heron! And the heron lands in front of them. Let's hide behind this fallen sweet chestnut tree. This is so cool. Let's hope we don't give it a fright. I don't think it's heard us. What's that coming through there? A deer wanders over from the trees a short distance away and stands near the heron. Oh my goodness, it's a deer. It looks huge, doesn't it? Whoa! The deer takes a quick glance at the children and then runs away. Catherine comes and stands near the children. Let's play wolf and deer. Yes. 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 yes! Why not? Goes around. Let's have a lovely circle, please. Murray, Zach, we're here. Let's join the circle. Violet, you can be on. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Isabel and Summer find a big hole near the tree where they hide in. I don't think we should hide here, we'll get seen very easily. Okay. Ready or not, here I come. William and Murray run into the field, gasping for breath. They hide in the long grass. Look, there's a rabbit. Cool. They hear rustling a bit further away from them. What's that? Let's go and see. OK. <gasps> it's a pheasant. Did you know pheasants can only fly for a few seconds? Yes, they make a big noise when they fly. William and Murray run into the woods. There they hide behind a fallen tree. The heron flies to the top of the tree and William and Murray look into the sky and discover two buzzards. There are two buzzards. How do you know they're buzzards? They have a white and brown bellies. Also, their wings are like the buzzards we saw in the bird book back at the classroom. Found you! Oh no! We only just began, but you found us too soon. Okay. Okay, now we have to find William and Murray. They're hiding so well. Isabel and Summer go towards the log where William and Murray are hiding. Violet goes in the opposite direction and looks around.
William and Murray run away and hide in the den now they had made earlier with Catherine. <laughs> Look, there's a rabbit. Found you! Oh, you got us. Lunch time! It's time for lunch! Everyone! The children come running to where the lunch boxes are. Hurry up, guys, you must be very hungry. The game of wolf and deer took a long time. You were all so good at hiding. Now the children sit down and eat. What animals did you see? Me and Will, we saw two buzzards. And a deer. A fallow deer. What direction was she heading in? She was moving away from us. She must have gone south. We also saw a heron. I'm not sure where it went. He flew towards a tree, and we haven't seen him since. Well spotted. Fox, Fox, look over there. Whoa. I hope he's not thinking about eating our chickens again. That would be horrible. There's the fox. If we're very quiet. And use a fox walking feet and an owl ear. We might get a closer look. We might get a closer look. Now we all have to be very quiet. Quietly, the children creep closer to the fox. The fox remains where it is, so they can watch it for a while. Look how ragged he is. He looks like he's quite old. Oh no, there are birds eating our food. No! no! They've eaten all our sandwiches. My lovely ham sandwich is all gone. Wild exclaims. Disaster. What a disaster! The birds have all the sandwiches. Look at the bread. Well, we've all learnt a lesson today, haven't we? Everything is looking for something to eat out here in the wild. Deer, fox and the buzzard. Let's go back to the farm and see if Grace will make up some marmite on toast. Yeah! That's a great idea! Yeah, I hate marmite on toast! The end. <laughs> Then go round here, because if you go around there, then we'll see that in the shop. Just say um, it's not such a good place to hide because it's quite easy to find, right? and then you run over there. Okay. We've all learned a lesson today, haven't we? Everything is looking for something in the world today. Yes. Okay. Eat.